young that'll come in the hood and tear this bitch up. Yeah. I'll catch you outside, you dirty bitch. I'm really holding my composure on your ass. I want my camera now. Shush my ass. What the hell you want? Our first customer walks in looking to pawn her necklace. I'm trying to pawn my necklace. Kind of pissed off, you know. Some little hating ass bust out my windows in my car. That's why I'm trying to pawn this necklace. I paid 400 for it. I'm looking to get two. What you think? Hmm. Why you say that? I just said, hmm. Oh. So when you bought this, what were you told that it was? Diamonds. Ashley lets the customer know what the necklace is truly made of. They're not. They're real diamonds, boo. I just told you I had a pissed off day up. And you telling me that you ain't gonna give me $200? The situation gets tense. Okay, first of all, you're coming in here with an attitude. I don't give a Well, I'm not interested in this. If you keep playing with me, I won't get real mad. A yelling battle has begun, but who will come out on top? Me! This is a recession. Hey, I need the it's mother me. money, all right? Is you gonna give me the mother money or not? I got some young that'll come in the hood tear this up. What are you gonna do? Is, I is wanna... that the security guard? Let me tell you, explain to you something. This is fake. The customer decides to drop some knowledge of her own. Don't you see? The diamonds is breathing. The diamonds are breathing? The diamonds is breathing. Are you serious? I need the money. Is you gonna help me? No. Can I help your ass with a you Can I help you get the out of my store? I a what you gonna do? The situation escalates. Get the out of here. here. You ain't gonna give me my necklace? Here you go. You ain't catch? Don't touch me. Oh, yeah. I'll catch you outside, you dirty bitch. And no, you better not touch my mother shoes, nigga. I'm gonna beat your tall, gumpy ass up. I should have her ass up. Next up, we have a returning customer. Greg the Ray. He saw us, he loves us. He even went as far as staying at the motel next door just so he could be here the next day when we open up. Rich takes a look at the items. A friend of mine, it hasn't been signed yet. Some books. I got yeah, an old mug that I'd like to pawn off. Should Here's I say a brand new wallet go. from my company. Is that all you, that you have for me? Can't do anything with these, man. Salt and pepper? They're porcelain. Just like last week, I can't do anything with these. Oh. But there is more to it. He has a pair that we would take in to pawn. 2002 limited edition Monte Carlo. I'll tell you what, let's go take a look at it. That's what I asked you to begin with. Hey, slow down. A car that has been turned into more by the customer. Holy, this guy's got a license. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. You living in this thing? Yeah, I told you I'm homeless. I thought you were joking. <laughs> You're making me nervous, dude. They start talking prices. The very least that you can take on a loan. Keep going 3, down. 3,500. Keep going down. 27. Keep going. 29. No, you're going the wrong way now. 21.50. Can you get under two? 19.99. Okay, maybe we'll work something like that out. I go get the title right now. But it's not finished yet. Boy, that son of a gun weighs a ton. Greg's back with more useless stuff I can't do anything with. Looking to only loan, the customer sets his price. I would need as much as possible on this. 300, 400 right now. Are you kidding? No. I found one for 350. Okay. Similar, 200. About 100. 150. 100. 100 is a deal. This lady walks into the shop with a rare attitude and item. I see you sweating. No, I was doing karate outside. No, I'm Bruce Lee's sister. Can you show me a move? <laughs> what you got? A mink fox. Did you want to pawn it or sell it? Sell it. Sell it. 50,000. It's safe to say, Les is left speechless. Who does your hair? I do it myself. Wow. I put three wigs together and I make myself sweat and that's how I lose weight. Who's in it now? Although it seems impossible, Les tries to negotiate. 50000 About a hundred dollar loan. Uh -huh, give me a hundred dollar loan. Fine, not a problem. And it was that simple. <laughs> Standing in line, we have two ladies arguing. Oh, no, I told you I didn't want to call me this mother. <laughs> guy. Every time I, we go somewhere, you gotta stop. Look, bitch, <laughs> hands and shit done for tomorrow. Ashley approaches the two ladies, trying to grab their attention. Why the fuck you always motherfucking ask me to ride with your stupid ass, ma'am? What the you won't shush my ass what the hell you won't security was ready but not needed that's very inappropriate there's kids around here why do the mother bring the kids up in the pawn shop anyway in the end the two ladies leave on their own oh bitch if i fall i think i got a lawyer mother right kiss my ass how about that ashley and les are met with a very unusual item uh, I wanted to see if I could get a pawn loan for my prosthetic eye. See, I lost my eye. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
Let me see that. Took the bearings off the floor and threw it over the dock and hit me. In your eye? Yeah. So in my eye came out like a boiled egg. Less is interested and wants to know more. You know, we do take prosthetic limb. There's a demand for that. I don't really know if there's a demand for a prosthetic eye. I can't get anything. How much did you need? Like 100, 150. But despite being a good story, Les has to look at the business side of things. If it would be a prosthetic limb, you know, I could resell it. But for us, this would really have no value. I'm sorry. A customer and Robert walk into the shop. My partner right here, Robert, we want to pawn this. You're who? My partner, Robert, right here. Les is baffled. What do you think about this? Be cool, Robert. Be cool. Be quiet, Robert. I think it's really cool, but I can't give you anything for it because it's not silver. What do you mean you can't give me nothing for this? Robert, tell him. Tell him, Robert. Tell him. Les decides to introduce his friend as well. Have you seen Steve doing our commercials? Robert, meet Steve. Steve, Robert. Steve. Steve? Steve. The customer demands something more. I need to talk to the boss man. And he's talking about he can't give me nothing for this. What the f is that? No, come on. Let's go to the outside. I got to look at it a little more better. That I ain't leaving. I'm not. I'm not leaving, man. Until I get some money. I'm the security is put into action. Oh no, man! You know what? I'm not coming back to this mother. Damn it, Robert ain't coming back. But the customer forgets someone behind. Come on, Robert. Let's go. Oh, you got Robert. Funny. Here you go. Here you go. Yeah, thank you, cause I went off and left. This I'm not coming right. back no more. Seth heads over to help a customer. Came up here one day to get extension. So I call up here, I say, yo, I, I was trying to find out what I could do to make arrangements, keep my stuff. He told me, oh, you fine. Here's three months, you can come and pick it up at September. All right. Only a couple of moments into the story, Seth smells something fishy. It, Who said that? Wait, wait, Who said that? I'm, on, I'm not no, going to name him just know. yet. Yeah. So you're already lying. Twice. You cannot get a 90-day extension go put, on the phone. Go, oh my, Are you going to uh, let me talk? Computer. Are you going to let me talk? Things begin to get heated. We don't give 90-day extension. What's stopping me from breaking them rules if I'm on the phone and you out here talking to another? You're asleep. I, I will when I when right now. turn my property or call the police. The customer has other plans in mind. Take off. my paper back. I want the end message. Get up. I'm calling the police. Arm, man. My army just... Man, what are you doing? Let him go. Call me. We have a customer not in the very best condition. Excuse me. Y'all just getting here? Why would they so late opening up? Man, how many people don't want to stay got open? Excuse me, see, you on the phone and stuff like that. You know, y'all open up late. Excuse me, y'all open up late. Screaming and yelling draws Les's attention. Serious. I got set up in all the people in line. Ma'am, why are you swearing at us? Because I'm tired of sitting in line. Ma'am, come out to this end window. We'll take care of you. Les steps in, looking to calm the situation. Were you supposed to be next? I've been standing in line. Were you time. next in line? Yeah. I hope I got enough. I'm getting my laptop and an Xbox. Yeah, I got enough. And I got 14 whole dollars left. I mean, y'all good on the money tip. But far as open up late, y'all ain't good with that shit. After taking her pawned items, she is looking forward to doing business again. Damn. And I'm never going to pawn your shit again. I can't even got this shit out for him. I might come back later today and pawn that shit again. Next up, we have a customer waiting for her item. Hey, can you go get the guy that was helping me, please? I mean, how long the fuck I'm going to stand up here? I've been standing an hour and a half. Ashley approaches. Can I help you? Somebody lost my camera. Lost it or they're going to they find, can't it. find it? Find it. How you lose people? How long have you been waiting for? An hour and a half. Really? Yes. It's rare for something like this to occur in the store. Find it? I don't know if I heard. I get it. I'm giving up something else because I don't want to have a waiting all day. Let me look it up really quickly. Let me see that ticket. Don't bother yet. Ashley makes a discovery. I looked at the ticket and realized she's two and a half months past due. I'm tired of waiting. Y'all lost an item of mine, and I really, really want y'all to do something about it. Rich, I got it. Ashley makes a decision. Please hurry up. I'm tired of standing Been in a car accident. I can't find it, can you? No, actually, you're late. I just paid for it. She would have told me. Y'all just lost my shit and don't want to give no, me my because you lost it. The confrontation goes back and forth. I want to see somebody else, not you. You can see I don't me. I want to talk to yeah. your daddy out here. We're open till six, so you can enjoy your time here. I don't give a I paid for it, though. This lady is actually a good customer. Do me a favor. There's a customer out there screaming for you. Don't go out there. Let me handle it. Les understands the situation better. How long I got to wait? 
She's a good customer. She just paid a bunch of money. I was watching you through the window. Drop the ball. You have an option to get your money back that you paid, or you can get a camera that you're past due on. Time to see my ass. Give me the camera. It seems there is a resolution, but not yet. I'm trying to turn this on, and it's not coming on. Yeah, when you get a camera, you got to kind of charge it. Well, how I know if it works? I ain't never coming back. You're taking your slow time. If you would have found my stuff, I would have been out the door. All yeah, right? if you were here in October, we would have found it a lot easier, too. Ashley is not helping in the situation. I to get the f- up out of here. So go. I'm really holding my composure on your ass. No, I'm not. Because I'm not going to go out of my way for you at all, actually. The customer's behavior gets worse. I want my f- camera now. Please don't touch me. You f- with Man. my feet. Man. I can say what I want to say. Let me go. That's the business that. is not over yet. Really? This is not enough. Yeah, mother f- is This ain't this next customer walks in looking for his girlfriend's bracelet. Um, I'm here to uh, get my girlfriend's uh, bracelet back, tennis bracelet. I'm not allowed to just give anybody's item away. Look, hold on a second, slow it down. I can't go back empty handed without her bracelet, okay? You guys said I didn't need it. Come out we would have never, ever you told you that. And just like that, we have a situation on our hands. Told you what? I don't know, I didn't get a name. Okay, back sure, where's the ticket? It's her I don't have a ticket. What? I gotta be on my flight by four o'clock. I appreciate that. Well, let me get my bracelet, bro. Sure. I need a ticket or a notarized letter. That's the only way you can get the bracelet. Things continue to become tense. You guys said it was okay on the phone, bro. Give me the You're calling me a liar now? You're, I'm calling me a liar. You're calling me a liar, bro, from behind that glaze. That was perhaps the biggest mistake this customer made. We're gonna make this really, really simple. You're gonna walk out the door. I'm not leaving without it. Make me get out then. Why? Yeah, you're gonna stand behind those people. Four little uh-huh. You my bracelet. What do you need your boy in front of you for, huh? I've got a problem is the way this Karen likes to start conversations, while Ashley prefers to begin with an introduction. I got a problem. Hi, I got a problem. Hey, well, wait a second. Hi, I'm Ashley. No. I'll do that after. The customer claims to have pawned her ring at the shop and is determined to get it back, showcasing the true New Yorker spirit. Find my ring. I gave you a three. Okay, wait, 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 wait. You're not going to storm through my store and come up to me and start screaming. Then find my ring. I'm not here to follow your rules. Well, you you have my merchandise and I want it back. Ashley is not one to back down, so what battle between Brooklyn and Detroit starts? Okay, so you are a customer here. Yeah, I'm not going to be a customer again because you can't find my... Great. Chill out. In New York, we don't behave like this. I get my merchandise. Well, in Michigan, we act like humans. If you've had a sibling, you might be familiar with the constant nagging, annoyance, and headaches they can inflict, similar to what this customer is currently doing to Ashley. So now you have my license. Get me my ring. Hey! Oh, my ring. You don't. Yo, I'm from Brooklyn, girl. I'm from Detroit, girl. I don't care. Just get me my merchandise now. Don't give me that look from the side of your eye. I know that look. Don't tell me what to do. Uh, how long does it take to check? I don't know. System? Can you be quiet for one second so I can do it? Loud noises make me type slower. Show you what loud noises are. I grew up with loud noises. <laughs> Ashley finally has enough after searching and finding nothing under the name of the customer. She gives her the ID and a suggestion as well. You can take your license and take it where the sun don't shine because I don't have your ring. Goodbye. You. 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 I know I brought my ring here. Take the walk all the way back to New York. Looking to pawn a worn out and non-functional watch, this lady runs into Seth. All right, trying to get this watch sold. So what can you do for me with this? To be honest, I'm really not interested in them. Growing irritated, the customer starts yelling. Came all the way here like... Ma'am. Uh-huh. I'm not interested in your watch. I don't have any money, so unless you're going to take me home, then you need to do something with that. I don't want any. Seth is not going to entertain this Karen for one more second. I don't care. I'm not interested. I think you are. You thought wrong. Well, get it fixed, bitch, because it's real. Take it out of here right now. Self-entitled. Self-entitled, hot-headed, and a good insulter, this Karen could have been a stand-up comedian. Show y'all the mother man, touch me. Don't touch me. What I just said. You, get off me. You bitch, because I'll never be back up in this bitch. Rappers are notorious for dissing people they don't like, but these two aspiring artists have yet to grace the big stages. That's why they find themselves in a pawn shop looking to pawn their jewelry to fund the completion of their mixtape. Here today to pawn some of my jewelry. I can't finish getting the money together for my mixtape. You want to do pawn or sell? I'm trying to pawn it. How much did you want? About 20, 25 bucks. Less behind the counter appraises their jewelry. This is silver. Okay, so like it's a problem with silver. 
Yeah, it's not worth as much as gold. We what is it worth? Me? Five dollar loan. Oh, he's trying to give you five dollars for that. What is that a large pizza? What I'm supposed to do with five bucks? Contrary to the typical extravagant rapper style, these two don't boast expensive bling. He just tried to kill you. Who said? I would that? take that meat. So what about the watch then? Take it off. Let it look. He told you you're gonna get five dollars. Five mother dollars. After Les provides the price for each item, the duo assumes their roles. The hype man and the performer. Ten dollars on the watch. Oh my god, dog! For your watch, bro. For a brain. Dog, you hear this mother? Number one, my friend, I'm not a mother. Well, I need. Here's what I need. the deal. Fifteen dollars. Take it or leave it. He just made you look bad. Dog. You understand? It's female. You gotta not be stupid. So if I was to get stupid, if you get stupid, you would be the worst day of your life. Security, noting the escalating tension from the disappointed customers. Steps in and intervenes. Oh, you're gonna call the boys? I huh? didn't call him, and he's not My a boy. Man, but, he's a man. Uh, you gotta oh. this f in American jewelry and loan. Hundred dollars worth of jewelry. This took me five dollars. Say, out of here, man. In this battle of words, it's safe to say that Les emerged victorious. You let him disrespect you today, man. F American jewelry and loan. How y'all ladies doing? Can I walk with y'all? Up next, we have a costumer trying to pawn a TV. Looking towards pawning my TV and my DVD player. Can't take that. And realistically, I'm not going to be able to give you a loan on that TV. It wouldn't matter much to me. I would rather sit here and talk to you. But this customer seems to have plenty of time as he shows Seth his life story. I'm really a somebody, you know? I really am. You seem to be hero of this nation in which you're standing in today. I have been an All-American football player. I got a... $80,000 resume. I was security slash homeland security off. I'm only 20. Okay. You can't find nobody else dog like that. Again, Seth sticks to the matter at hand. There's nothing I can do for you. This stuff is just too old. Look, I'm trying not to just make this difficult. You know a lot of me? I said Perfect. You understand? And take it out of here. Seth is not one to back down from a challenge, especially on home turf. How about I have you take it out? I don't. You think you scare me? So get the out of here. You make it. You want to see me make you? Yeah. Walk. Back up, dude. I ain't touching you. Don't touch me, man. Man, I'll break his face, man. I bitch press your weight low, dude. Why don't you take that piece of and get off the property? Okay, Squeaky. Time for you to go. Snack hungry, this customer has a big issue on his hands. Just look at this one candy bar sitting in front of the ones I want. My favorite candy bar. Man, that's the dude. First of all, look at this candy bar. I just want y'all to open this gate up. Somebody open this door. That's what I'm saying. Seth approaches quickly and waits for his turn as the customer keeps rambling. Are you done? You want me to break this piece of crap, dude? No, Get no. your hands off me! Call police, do what y'all gonna do. You I ain't going out nowhere. Still causing commotion outside as it seems he has forgotten something. Yo, sick of this Just because y'all got these big cars don't mean shit. All I gotta do is open a candy bar up, man. Go get my damn payday! Y'all think this shit is a joke. That's all I'm saying. Seth makes sure this unwanted customer is removed. I don't even wanna see you, dog. So get the out the property. You get the off the property. Think y'all look at me like I'm a piece of trash. Oh, you gonna throw my water like that, man? Don't throw my damn candy bar like that. Next up. We have a customer in need of money. I have some material things that I would like to find. Okay. They have my car impounded. Now I have to find the money or means to get the car out. You have more than this? Yeah, it's a grill. You have a custom made, obviously. I want the best that they have, because it's in my mouth. You have acetones in there. Negotiations begin. What are you looking for? I'm trying to get $1,000. Grills are custom, so essentially it's worth scrap value. For the grill, you're looking about 100 Jackie, you're looking about 25 bucks. You said $25? Look how many coat? coats I have. It's very wait, insulting. Wait, wait, wait. The customer is not happy at all, but he is also good at being persistent. Just well, be honest. Be a man and just be, be honest. Be a man. Is there anybody else I can talk to? Because obviously you don't even understand what I'm saying. After disregarding Seth, the customer wants to talk to someone else. Okay, why don't you talk to me? You want 25 on your coat? Why would you ask me $25? Les is not one to play around, so he cuts to the chase. Here's the deal. We'll be more than happy to help you with 25 so To me, $25 is a lot. So Thank you so much for coming. I want to shake you. Thank you for watching. And as always, like and subscribe for more content.